Does Fiverr Pro will actually help your Fiverr career scale or not? So this is a very important and very popular questions because in my career I was able to, uh, I was both a pro seller, I'm currently a pro seller, I also asked Fiverr to downgrade me from the pro into the normal which uh, was my top rate seller status, right? So. The biggest factor with the pro is that before, actually before, I would say, I think before like end of last year, you can only, the biggest concern with the pro is that I do have my gigs. Uh, if you guys been following me for a while, you know that I do Instagram growth. That is primarily my gigs uh, on my career on Fiverr. And of course, now I also do content creation, content management. This has been something that is new for me this year, but it's been growing really nicely as well. So as you can see, this one has over 4,000 reviews. So the problem was when I became a pro for the first time, I think it was 2000, 19 or 2020 so i couldn't transfer my non-pro gig into the pro because with the fiverr policy they didn't allow gigs with a large number of reviews to be um, translated into the pro that was some sort of a policy that they had right so that was an issue and i did uh, i had to pause my main gigs and i had to create a new gig and then this gig was a pro gig right so that's how my journey was and it's i think it's been good it's been good i was able to I would say relatively quickly reach the 10k milestones, uh, 10k revenue marks uh, per month on Fiverr, which has been incredible. And uh, and then what I noticed that I really wanted to bring those gigs back, so I asked Fiverr to downgrade me so I could actually because you cannot have. Uh, gigs which are pro and non-pro in the same category that's like the rule i think that's still the rule actually nowadays so for example if you're uh, verified in the social media marketing category right as a pro seller you cannot have your non-pro and pro you can only have a pro gigs or you have to pause your pro gigs and you can only have non-pro gigs right so that's something that rules still exist and now what i recently realized i was like okay let's give a try for the pro because i'm seeing fiverr is trying to push fiverr business they're trying to attract higher end buyers as well things like that so of course that's sort of um you know plays an important role for your freelancing career so when we go into the social media marketing category here so first thing we are um, always we're seeing the best selling category we see what's happening in here in the best selling right so that's the first thing the other thing we can go to the fiverr business for example this is another place and here if you just scroll down we will be able to see that category right so we can still go it's pretty much the same category, right? And here, the buyers, they're able to find you as well, right? They are able to find you. And as you can see here, by default, they are able to see the freelancers, right? We can also go to the services. And in this case, we're gonna be seeing the services, right? So this is another, it's kind of like it gives you that extra boost, extra visibility, right? Because when you go into your gigs, you will be able to see that you have two placements, the Fiverr regular placement and the Fiverr business placement, right? And right now you can actually, if you go to the settings of your gig, you will be able to do that, right? So that's something like an extra, I would say benefit as well, that you are getting extra exposure. The other thing, if you think about if you are, let's say not a corporation, but if you're uh, established business and you go to the freelancing platform like Fiverr, of course, you're going to look at the sellers with the highest reputation, with the highest uh, badge, right? So for many of them, like becoming top rate seller, not top rate seller, like they're not you know, the, the buyers, what I've seen, they're not really. Yes, it's important to be a top rate seller. Of course, it helps, but it's not the main like it's not the main factor, right? When they see it's a pro verified, they're like, okay, what is a pro verified, right? So that's kind of like makes a really big impact because the pro verified, they kind of like showcase that more significantly in a way that, oh, this is something special. This has to be some exceptional work, right? At the same time, um, you, you are just getting like, you know, when, for example, someone clicks on your gig, your gig looks like, you know, you're a verified pro. So it's kind of like a landing page, which has like more and more credibility about your gig, right? Which obviously plays an important role because then they have this exceptional service vetted by our team. So it kind of like sets the expectation for the buyer, right? Of course, this is a, um, a factor which plays in the role, right? This will attract higher end buyers. This will attract more serious buyers who are ready to spend so this is of course um, an important factor right so i would say right now 
Fiber Pro has definitely some strong benefits, right? You are definitely gonna be seeing as more serious buyers. Yes, let's say, um, I wouldn't say the demand is less. I, th I think the demand is there, right? Of course, when you list your, the, your services like above $100 because the Fiverr Pro, the minimum should be $100. I think it's like 95 as well. They try to lower it down, but it's still, it's, it's a $100 mark. So if you have gigs which are, let's say $25, $40, $50, you unfortunately won't be able to, um, you know, sell them as a pro, right? You have to increase the prices. And of course, we've seen, I've seen what I'm seeing here in the marketplace, services that people used to do like hashtag research, um, setting up profiles, right? Like we can even go into, we can go for example, Fiverr here, we can go to the pro, right? So we'll be able to see the pro and then let's go for, for example, digital marketing. Uh, I think that's still gonna be, let's go here for example, view all social media marketing. Okay, we're, we're, we're seeing all the, let's go here for example, for pro services, right? So what we are seeing here, right? We're seeing that there is a lot of consulting gigs, there is a content management gigs, there is a Facebook ads management, there is Instagram, TikTok growth, there is uh, setting up professional Facebook ad campaigns, Facebook ads again, uh, social media content creation, winning hashtags, right? So, okay, this, this gig, for example, here, I'll research high quality hashtags to grow your Instagram, right? Is at 94 uh, euros, right? So the biggest issue here is that this kind of service is just very expensive for the work that this seller is gonna do, right? So uh, Stephanie, in this case, so she's doing, uh, and looks like she's relatively new, Fire Pro seller, so of course it's obviously uh, inspiring and nice to see. But as you can see, she has been on the platform since January 2023, right? You can see she has gigs. I will do impossible monthly social media management. Uh, yeah, so uh, okay, she has new pro seller, two orders in queue. So she has two orders in queue. Uh, this 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 still looks, I would say, pretty pretty good, right? So it's a content, uh, it's a content management. She's doing the monthly topic plan, writing engaging tags, hashtag research, post schedule. Okay, this kind of gig is good. I would say like she's even doing it quite cheap, you know, for the pro service, right? But then she has, I'll professionally grow your Instagram account. Okay, this is a uh, new gig as well. She has 15 days to, to, to become viral. Uh, <laughs> again, I don't wanna say that, uh, I, I like because I remember, I don't wanna say I invented this, but it's definitely, maybe she took some inspiration from <laughs> from some sellers. But I think she's, um, you know, she's listing it nicely, right? So she has this information, et cetera, et cetera, right? So uh, this one here and then this one. The problem with this gigs that most likely people are not gonna be paying $100 because if you think about it, it's $100, it's a, uh, it's obviously high end for Fiverr, right? So it's a higher ticket. And when you do like hashtag research or bio research or something like this or analysis of your Instagram profile or, you know, anything like that is just, these kind of services, they're not really making a big impact for clients, right? Researching hashtags, I mean, as you know, you, you know, I don't wanna say hashtags are not working, but at the end of the day, they're not gonna be making a big impact and also the, the CEO, the head of uh, Instagram is always saying like, okay, it's not gonna make a huge deal, right? They still work, they still useful, but it's not gonna be like making a big change. When you offer content creation, content management, of course, that's something is more complex, that's something like for buyer, like it will take time to create that, right? So it's co of course, it involves more expertise. Whatever something that involves more uh, creativity, expertise, time, those kind of services could be always higher ticket, right? You can go for 200, 500, 600, 700, and et cetera, right? So that's kind of things. So that's why when you're becoming pro, you have to realize that ideally you wanna have recurring services because you don't wanna depend on the search all the time because if, the, if you're ranked high in the search, you'll be getting more customers, right? Uh, more potential buyers. But if you're not ranked high in the search, you're not gonna be getting that traffic. So the problem, the problem here is that you need to have recurring buyers. You need to work with buyers on the recurring basis, right? So that's why it's good to have a pro gig and also it's good to have uh, a recurring uh, service as well. So I would say your goal, if you're getting started on Fiverr, of course you can go and apply to the Fiverr Pro straight away if you want, but I will suggest, 
I don't, obviously, we don't know the exact, exact, exact criteria that they're looking for. Of course, they give some sort of, uh, you know, requirements, but the biggest factor for Fiverr is they want to see that you have enough credibility. You, they want to see that you have worked with some noticeable clients, right? Brands, businesses, companies, right? Which are, could be recognized, right? Internationally, uh, locally, but uh, they are recognizable. They are established businesses. So they wanna see that. And they wanna see your own sort of credibility. They wanna see you as an expert. They wanna see your social media presence. Doesn't matter, it's Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, YouTube, right? They wanna see that you're an expert in your niche. Of, of course, I would say LinkedIn is gonna be pretty powerful because it's always more business related networking communication instagram is also pretty good if you're in social media if you're doing instagram content creation content management growth of course it's important to have an established uh, right now because the verified badges they can be you know bought like you know you can subscribe to meta verified uh, so verification might not be a big factor anymore right although um, i was able to get verified in 2020 right and you can still see when you go to the someone's profile you can still see when they got verified so of course if they got verified in march april more most likely they are subscribed they were, if they got verified before most likely they uh, are either paid a lot of money or they actually got verified by their presence right so there's obviously a lot of factors there but again uh, I think for you guys um, you know you have this shortcut if you already have some you know noticeable clients to go to fire pro and i encourage you because i think it's good right now i don't see any sort of limitation why uh you should not be fire pro right if you can of course you have to understand that your service has to be outstanding right so you have to always meet that quality mark because if you're doing something that you know that you cannot really improve the quality that much eventually because when buyers are coming to you they expect something like wow this definitely should be better than someone who is not fiverr pro and doing the same service right so they should they need to feel this kind of like wow effect right so this is one of the important factors about you know having the verified um pro verified service and being pro verified so but other than that i think this is definitely positive this is definitely powerful uh also the another important factor i wanted to bring it here when you are verified this is a very cool thing actually uh, you know the fiverr has their own affiliate uh, program they have their affiliate deals so when you are verified the the great thing about it is that if the affiliate marketers are going to be promoting your gigs right you will be getting i mean they are getting high C, uh, cpa rate right they're getting 150 dollars for all pro services so like when they see your service like okay i can definitely push this to my audience if they have a blog if they have social media channels if they have a website if they have youtube channel right so they can push it these kind of services more because they're going to get paid 150 dollars for a conversion right and uh, if the buyers purchases the first time buyer the, the buyer who is new to the platform right so this is definitely a huge deal because they will be preferring to do that than if they will for example promote even these kind of services because this let's say it's much harder to sell the data science mobile apps website development service i mean website development should be not as hard but like mobile apps data science this is really tough and then for like social media i think it's like even less uh, you can see it here, it's like $25, right? So this is definitely more impressive. So I would say also, this is a big, big uh, factor as well. And if you wanna kind of like make extra money, if you wanna, you know, earn more income, I think it's, it's definitely worth looking into the Fiverr um, uh, affiliate system because they are constantly improving it. Yes, of course, things could be always better, right? But it's always work in the progress. I think they have done a good job on making it better. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think this is definitely good to, to look into it, right? You can see also Fire Business 100 CP over their account, which is 100 and spend plus 10% revenue share. So they're always coming up with these sort of options. But I felt this is a great bonus as well if you're Fiverr Pro. So, like this, you know, they are doing their own job, Fiverr, to attract more affiliate marketers. And when affiliate marketers come to this page, they're like, okay, this is pro services, I'm getting paid $150. So this definitely makes them um, push this kind of services more. So this is another big factor. So guys, thanks for watching. Please feel free to share your feedback. If you are Fiverr Pro, if you have 
maybe got rejected or you have ex you know got accepted as Fiverr please share your experience it will be interesting to see thanks for your support as well I know we're still this channel is still very new as well and there's been a lot of changes a lot of things you can always uh, watch the v previous videos that I've been publishing because it just kind of like shows the whole journey that I was able to uh, you know start my journey on Fiverr reach seven figure milestone Fiverr I mean there's a lot of things there's ups and downs you know the also where I had to shut down my Fiverr where I had to restructure my services I, th I think most of the stuff is uh, definitely there on YouTube so you can definitely find it and uh, thanks again for your feedback for your support if you want to share this video with someone else who is trying to get on Fiverr uh, if you want to you know share your feedback as well in the comment section I'll really appreciate thank you so much please consider subscribe and hope to see you in the next video